After risking their lives in the military, these vets were ordered to leave the same country they once fought for. They're building so many monuments of us fighting. That's not helping us. Put us here and then forget the ones that are living. And then now it's worse. We get deported. It's a disgrace and dishonor to us, brothers. But I keep wondering, if you're a deported vet and Homeland Security dumps you in Tijuana with no wallet and no phone to record a man stealing a zebra, where do you go? Looks like we're pulling up on the bunker now. There's the banners. I knew there was going to be banners. I wish Manuel could be here just to see the banners. Or maybe he'd get competitive. I don't know. The bunker. Deported vets set up this shelter to help other deported vets, like Joe, get basic necessities, like a toothbrush, a roof over their heads, and a hot meal. So this is the kitchen area. These are the living quarters. This is where we house. We do have military cots. This is actually the bunker's mascot, Boots. Hey, Boots. Jack, another deported vet, runs the place. He's like a concierge, but instead of recommending restaurants, he suggests asylum lawyers. How many people have come through here? I'd say close to about 100 vets. 100 vets? Yeah, at oh. least through this bunker here. Uh -huh. Fun fact, you may have recently spoken to these guys. Most of the vets work at a call center where they do tech support for iPads or help Americans book vacations. That's right, deported vets help tourists find flights to a country they can never enter, which really rubs salt in the exile. After serving time for crimes like drug possession, carrying an unlicensed firearm, and check fraud, the vets were deported. Now they're in a Tijuana bunker with more patriotic tchotchkes than a TGI Fridays. They're homesick. What do you guys miss most about America? Everything. All my family's over there, so my mother, my sisters, my brothers. I miss out and see my oldest son get married. I have grandchildren I haven't even met. There's nowhere's home for me here. I eat burritos too, don't get me wrong, and I love beans and rice. I do, I really do. But my identity is American. And uh, man, I love, I love the, the, the crumb, crumb cakes that they sell with the, with the carton mill. You miss the crumb cakes? Yeah, and I definitely... It feels like you're not missing the crumb cakes too much. <laughs> the guys try to stay upbeat, but in reality, their only real path back into the States is not ideal. The only way I can go back to the United States if I was to die, man. What? With an American flag on the coffin and get sent back and get buried in the United States. It's true. All these vets need to do to come home is die. Then they can have their corpse repatriated and become eligible for a military burial. Yes, that's what they mean by nobody left behind. Oh, no, I'm sorry. OK, so let's recap. Immigrant plus $500,000 equals American. An immigrant plus veteran also equals American. Maybe. But immigrant plus veteran plus felony equals definitely not American. But add death to the equation, and welcome home, boys. I need a drink. I'm going to throw up a little party. Oh my kid, I'm gonna throw him a big party, because that's what I do. Just ask my downstairs neighbors. <laughs> Screw you, Suzanne and Brian. Time to bring a little bit of America to Mexico. So I imported Arizona's number one Blackstreet cover band, Josh. Keep recording, but help me out. And not wanting to offend the vets, went behind the shed to Goodfellas Captain America and stuff him with candy. Look. I know patriotic piñatas and a dumb American coming to Mexico isn't going to change an injustice in our immigration system. I'm only one person. But like Manuel, I shouldn't let that stop me. These guys are vets, after all. And even beyond that, human. Alien. They're alien to the United States. Why do you go they're, alien? They're not a part of the, what, Allow me to say. OK. Don't you think it's possible you're dehumanizing people when okay. you use the word alien? The language is in the law. It says alien. Maybe I've been asking the wrong question. Rather than what does make someone an American, what should make someone an American? And by David Ward's own definition, these vets should be in. What is it that makes you American? Is it the fact that you're born here, or is it what you do for America? I think it's what you do for America. The fact that you're born here, of course, has standing. But how do you feel about your country? Do, are you proud of it? Would you serve for it? Uh, would you, you know, die for your country? Would you die to uh, protect the Constitution, uh, what this country stands for? Would you do that? So when I see the guys who are deported vets in Tijuana right now wanting to come home, they check all those boxes. Did I not put my left hand on the Bible and, and, and raise my right hand to the flag of the United States of America and swore to give my life for the country? 
They want to be home. They've served for America. They've protected America. They love America. And we swore an oath to defend the Constitution of the United States, and we still are willing to die for the country that we believe in. If a war breaks out tomorrow and they try to come through here, we are, we are ready to do what we swore to do. We're lucky, you and I. Mm -hmm. What makes me an American is that I lucked out that my mom's cervix was in America. Mm -hmm. Thank God. We want Americans to know that we exist here, and we're Americans because we, we fought under the flag. I think we're very lucky because of that. But some people don't have mothers with cervixes that are so lucky. Immigration hardliners love to talk about the laws. But what's the point of laws if they don't reflect our values? I've been trying to calculate what makes someone American. And that's the problem. There isn't any simple equation. When we reduce a person to a number, it's all too easy to forget their story. Instead, maybe we should take care of those willing to risk everything to take care of us, even if they've made mistakes, or even if they're not great at Mad Libs. So if red, white savior, and blue parties aren't the solution, what is?